I mention a lot about warmongering and blind support of military agenda. I don't say as much about laws and police. Being a law-abiding citizen doesn't mean anything beyond the fact that we allow ourselves to be limited, restricted, and controlled. Laws are not made for any moral reasons. Think about it. If laws were created for the right reasons, there wouldn't be so much trash and litter everywhere. These idiots wouldn't be allowed to walk around with their pants falling down. Permits wouldn't be needed to do natural things like farming and hunting, fishing, bartering, helping each other and protecting ourselves the way man has done for thousands of years before now. Those are just a few examples. Law is about control and money. If it was about protection, communities and neighborhoods would would have patrol units as well as you know armed citizen militias available. Instead, police run the roads and the highways looking for easy money, making their quotas while crimes are committed in neighborhoods that, where people are not armed to protect themselves. Then we have police dispatched to deal with, with petty family problems and courts to break up the family structures. There's no such thing as a good cop. Living by man's law and allowing wrongful authority to control everything has resulted in only one thing. It's created more problems. Becoming a cop serves only one purpose and one agenda. Tyranny. Cops have secrets. Even if they themselves have not done anything wrong, they know who has in their departments. Society has been turned against itself by trusting in a system that was designed to manipulate and regulate our lives. We have allowed the use of television, media, Hollywood to condition our thinking and cause us to believe so much false history, false wars, and to trust in a, in a false freedom. The American dream was perhaps the greatest scam ever to be pulled off. The Constitution was nothing but a written Trojan horse. Voting, protesting, meetings and phone calls are meaningless methods created by the system to keep us from doing what's right, protecting and fighting for our own freedom. Instead, we, we allow others to pretend they're fighting for our freedom. In the book of Nehemiah, Jerusalem was not restored by exchanging words with dictators. It was rebuilt with faith, prayer, action, and self-defense of, of all of its residents. A, a unity was, was formed and, and these people just took care of themselves. By use of militias and armed neighborhood watches and, and self-policing based on biblical morals. Modern popularized Christianity is controlled by laws and, and a lot of Freemason devilry. A lot of seeker friendly methods have been infiltrated into the church. There, there's a foothold situation, so to speak, and so many churches are just lost. God doesn't bless our nation. God doesn't bless our nation because we have turned our backs on Him. The church has become so arrogant and so blind that they, they don't think this problem includes them. They consider themselves separate when they are in fact overflowing with worldliness. The, the, the world has its own VIP membership in, in the majority of, of this country's churches. Churches, especially large overpopulated ones, have become places of false inspiration, socialization, uh, or rather socializing, and entertainment, even even the few who come with a genuine desire to seek God and truth, that they fall into this trap of believing lies. Even the general society of people were still, if, if they were still sinful, if if our churches and alleged Christians were were right with God, we would not be in this mess. There there was a time in our ancient history when the church had been right with God. And just as it happened then, we have forgotten. And history has repeated itself 
time and time again ever since. Though now, instead of being enslaved by whips and chains, we are controlled by money, distraction, and fear. <laughs> 